Well, now to another issue that is also top of mind for so many voters, and that is inflation. Yesterday, the new Consumer Price Index report showed inflation remains at a 40-year high, although it has dropped slightly. We're talking 8.2% in September compared to 8.3% in August. With the high prices still not budging, Wall Street went into a panic for a bit. The Dow started the day over 500 points, staged a historic rally, and then finished up 830 points. Boy, did it. The S&P and the Nasdaq also made some eye-popping turnarounds. So amid yesterday's roller coaster ride on Wall Street, President Biden defended his administration's handling of inflation during a campaign stop in Los Angeles. Joe Khalil has the president's latest comments on what has become a volatile economy day in, day out. Hey, Joe. Hey, Marnie. Yeah, you can say that again. So President Biden did try to put a positive spin uh, on the economy as he was speaking to supporters in Los Angeles, but his remarks came after that consumer price index report that you mentioned. That report didn't really sit well with a lot of economists. It actually gave them more reason to worry about the state of the economy in the United States right now. So we'll discuss what the economy looks like, but first let's hear what President Biden actually said. A lot of people are hurting these days. And today's report shows, though, some progress. Overall, inflation was 2% over the last three months. That's down from 11% over the prior three months. And that's progress, but a lot of it is a result of getting the cost of living at the gas pump down. So here's the reality of it now. The new CPI, in fact, showed prices from this time last year were up 8.2%. Now, Marty, you laid out that is a slight dip in inflation from last month's report, which showed 8.3%. But the real takeaway is still that inflation is still stubbornly high. It's not improving like economists had really hoped for. And it does signal that price increases may not have even hit their peak yet. So the markets did react uh, negatively to that news yesterday before ultimately rebounding. Now, politically, heading into the midterm elections here, our most recent News Nation poll does show that uh, President Biden's approval rating improved slightly from 43 to 46 percent over the last month. But it also showed that nearly two thirds of voters, about 65 percent of people that responded to our poll, say that inflation is their biggest concern right now. So being so close to the midterm elections, that certainly does not bode well for President Biden and for his party. If Democrats have success at all in these next midterm elections, it's going to be uh, facing the headwinds of what is a pretty serious inflation problem that we're all facing right now. Guys. All right, Joe, thank you. Let's continue that economic conversation now with News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan. She's joining us live now. Good morning, Lydia. We are all seeing inflation at 8.2 percent, but core inflation is at 6.6 percent. Uh, please explain to the folks what the difference is there. Yeah, it's a bit confusing because you get that headline number that was actually marginally smaller, coming at 8.2 percent, um, less than the 8.3 percent number we got last month. But that's really not what the markets or the Federal Reserve is looking at when they are making decisions about rate hikes or whatnot. They're looking specifically at the core inflation number. And the core inflation number strips out food and energy costs. And that, are, I guess, the Fed deems those to be too volatile to factor in when they're making decisions about rate, rate hikes. So core inflation is everything except for that. It's shelter, it's cost of health care, cost of services, et cetera. Um, and so that number was actually higher than last month, and it was higher than expected, coming in 6.6%. That is a 40-year high. So even though that overall number abated marginally, it was that core inflation number that was really jaw-dropping, much higher than we've seen in decades. And so based on that and based on the Fed's minutes of their discussion, it looks like they are going to raise interest rates. That's almost a given at this point. Do you have any explanation for the rally that we saw yesterday? Because pre-market trading, you and I both said bloodbath, and then suddenly the Dow is up over 800 points. I, I can't explain it. I, well, look, I think there's a lot of pe smart people out there who are trying to explain it. Um, frankly, any time we're talking about the markets, it's just sort of a, a guessing game to an extent. Um, there was some talk that maybe people were trying to cover their shorts, that people had shorted the market, and then they got fearful that maybe they had overshorted it, and they were just trying to cover those. You know, other folks were chiming in saying, look, the markets had already tanked this year, uh, and, and maybe they were just trying to regain some of their losses. But at this point, I think it's just a guessing game, and people are looking to the best explanation they have, but it's very 
odd. <laughs> okay, so we're both confused. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, PhD economist I already interviewed, also confused. Not just us. Uh, Lydia, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.